Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the uh, Vino Italiano Barolo kit we started a while back. Now, um, I've been getting lots of questions on this kit. Hey, how's the kit coming? You haven't, guys haven't seen an update in a while. This is the kit. And you can see how much sediment there is on the bottom. Okay. Now, one of the things I've said in some of my other videos is, you know, I have a pretty intensely busy job. And, you know, I put in probably about 50, 50 to 60 hours a week um, working. So we've, we've hit a crunch time and um, I haven't really been able to get to my winemaking for a while. So that's why this kit is delayed a lot of times. Uh, when I'm doing wine kits and stuff like that, I get caught up in life and then all of a sudden, you know, more time goes by than the directions say. And you know what? That what ma That is what makes winemaking the perfect hobby for uh, busy people like myself. Because, you know, if it takes longer, the wine is aging in your carboy. So if you don't get to it for a week or a month, or two, <laughs> then you know your wine's only getting better. Now we've had the extra added benefit here of letting this sit for quite a while, and what that does is it lets the wine start to clear by itself. Okay, all of that at the bottom is sediment that uh, is cleared. So. I'm going to assess this wine and see how it is. We might not even need the clarifiers, but I might just go ahead and talk about the clarifiers anyway, regardless of whether or not I do it in this video, um, where you would put them in, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sanitize and uh, clean out a six gallon carboy. Now why am I doing that? Well, because this is a five gallon carboy and if you remember I want to stir out the bubbles. So if I was to um, put my drill mounted stir device in this carboy and start stirring, there's no place for the wine to go except for out over the top and on the floor. And we really want to avoid that because, you know, I cry over spilt wine. So that's um, what we're going to do. We're going to take this five gallon carboy and we're going to transfer it to a six gallon. Now I realize many of you are doing this with six gallon carboys to begin with so you should have plenty of space regardless you'd still want to transfer out into a clean carboy and uh, transfer the word for transfer is racking in um, winemaking terminology and we want to leave this sediment behind on the bottom so you don't want that in your wine so we're going to transfer off of that and leave that behind. All right, so what I'm going to do now is clean up a six gallon carboy to transfer this wine into. Now, if you don't have another carboy, you could transfer it into your bucket and uh, clean out your carboy and then transfer back to your carboy. That works fine too. All right, so I'm going to clean that up and we'll be back. All right, so I got my auto siphon. I have the anti-sediment tip on the bottom and I'm going to put that in here. Now since this carboy is so full, I'm going to be very careful as I'm putting this in and I'm going to pump that out and gently put this to the bottom. I don't want to disturb that sediment. And as that's going, let me get myself a glass. So I just wanted to show you the clarity of this wine as it is. I don't know if it's easy for you to see. 
and this this is not really a wine glass it's a canning jar but just happen to be what I have close so this wine is actually very clear on its own without putting anything in it okay no, I haven't degassed this yet. If you could appreciate the clarity and put it up against the window, you can see the clarity. I know not the best sparkling, you know, it's beautiful. So I'm going to let the rest of that transfer off. I'm actually going to try this. Wow. That tastes delicious the way it is. Wow, that's very good. Okay. You can see I'm transferring to that jug and the wine is very clear on its own pretty cool I'm going to decide what I want to do I probably am going to put the clarifier in anyway just to keep this tutorial for you complete but you know again if you don't want to um, use any clarifiers you could just go like this you know let it just sit for a couple months and it'll clear on its own wow okay we're going to rack completely off of that off of the sediment and we should be good to go be right back Welcome back. We've transferred our wine to the carboy, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stir out the bubbles and add the stabilizer. Stabilizer. Whoa! Stabilizer. And what the stabilizer is, is the sulfite solution, or sulfites that we're adding to preserve the wine. Uh, so I'm basically adding that to the wine just like that. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a drill, attach it to my mixer. And I'm going to stir out the bubbles. All right. Um, I'll have the link for the mixer at the bottom of the uh, video. But you can see how I have that set up. I have my drill connected to that mixer. And let me just show you this real quick. The mixer has paddles on the bottom that when they turn, will stir up the whole thing. So I have another battery for this drill, so I'll be right back with the new battery. Alright, so I got the new battery. I'm going to hit this with the drill. Do you see if we had the five gallon carboy, how that would overflow? Uh, that's why you need to not have the carboy topped up all the way or to use a bigger carboy for these kits. So one of the things you'll see is the bubbles that's uh, 
CO2 that's being released by the wine. So it's kind of like stirring out the bubbles out of soda. We're stirring out the bubbles out of the wine. So I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do that for probably about 15 or 20 minutes. Stir out as much as I can before adding the clarifiers. So you don't need to watch me do that. We'll be back 20 minutes from now, 15 minutes from now, after I've been stirring this for a while. All right, welcome back. All right, so at this point I've stirred this for quite some time, and you can see the bubbles that have come up. I'm going to be adding my clarifiers to the kit now. Now, the kit comes with some uh, clarifiers that is a Kytosan pack and Kikasol pack. And the way that that would work is you would add the Kikasol first, stir it in, then add the Kytosan and stir it in. Okay, so this is the Kikasol. And that one is the Kytosan. And the way that this would work if I were using it, so I'd put the Kikis all in first, I cut the corner on it, pour it in, stir it up. Then after about two, three, four minutes of stirring, I would do the same thing to the Kytosan. The order that you put these in matters. So you have to put the Kikis all in first, then the Kytosan. Okay. But again, this is a shellfish derivative. So instead of doing that, I am going to be using my sparkaloid. And the way that that works is I take a tablespoon sparkaloid powder, put it in some boiling water, and dissolve it. Let it sit 5-10 minutes. Make sure that it's all stirred in well. And just pour that in. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. Get that set up. And I'm going to stir that in with the drum. Alright, so I'm going to be doing that for another, like, I don't know, five minutes, stirring it, and we'll be back. It's exciting. Make it mine. Alright, so I stirred that in, and I refixed the airlock and bung onto this carboy. I'm going to let that sit now. I'm going to put it back in the closet for um, about ten days or so. Um goes a little bit longer no big deal uh, the thing that we'd want to do then is transfer off of this and get ready to bottle so there you have it thanks for uh, watching and checking out my video on the vino italiano barolo uh, wine kit and in this video you'll see from the bottom of the video the um, links for the wine kit and for that mixer device. And I'll also put a link to the Sparkaloid in case uh, you want to use that as well, just like I do. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.